Hey guys, it's Arcade and today I'm back with another tutorial. It's been a while and I'm gonna show you how to make Wobble House. But before I get started I wanted to let you know that I created a Wobble House sample pack and you can get uh, 30 Wobble House patches for Massive and a bunch of drum loops and also FLP file of this project is included. So yeah, if you want to get that, link is in the description. Now let's get back to the tutorial. So I made a simple drum pattern here. Nothing too fancy. Just a kick, clap, open hi-hat and close hi-hat. And I have this impact sound I wanted to use right here. Okay, so the most important thing is probably the wobble bass and that's what I want to focus on this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna create a preset in Massive and here is how you do it. And you can uh, of course create different wobble basses through the same technique I'm gonna show you right now. So first uh, let's keep this as square wave. And uh, of course I created a new sound so you do that as well. Don't just open Massive because it's slightly different. So you want to have a new sound and just go to oscillators and disable these two. And also the macro control because it can kind of mess up everything if you don't pay attention to it. And so we're going to keep this as square wave. So all the way to the left. And now let's, uh, let's see the sound now. Very basic. So we're going to go to 5LFO or any of these you want to choose and change it to performer and just drag this so it's only the the one is highlighted and load curve and we're going to use this one to get a uh, wobble base and we're just going to put the LFO just drag it on the am amplifier and put it all the way to the left and then drag this, drag the number 5 and we're kind of getting a wobble bass already and uh, of course I'm gonna what I did here is click the sync button so we sync the LFO to the tempo which is 126 in this case and now it's gonna move faster So I prefer 4, uh, you can obviously change it while the song is playing and automate this, but 4 is a good starting position. Ok, let's just check the envelope, uh, everything seems good there. Ok, so enable the modulation, actually, let's en enable the oscillator 3, you can also enable oscillator 2, but I usually just enable 3 for the sub bass and sub bass is sine wave so choose sine square or sine triangle doesn't really matter because it's gonna be all the way to the left just uh, resulting in a sub bass so that's gonna be our second oscillator but it's also free but that doesn't matter okay so we don't really have to automate this with the LFO but we can and let's do it but not fully so it's like this so you can uh, hear the sub bass constantly but sometimes it's a little bit quieter okay now enable the modulation and choose phase and choose oscillator 1 this is which oscillator is going to be affected so we're gonna choose 1 Okay, and we can also put the LFO on here and just automate it slightly. Of course, you can always experiment and just do like this or whatever. Whatever we want, just change something, some uh, knob here, and it's gonna absolutely change the whole sound. We can also do octave up. Let's actually actually lower both of these 
Yeah, this is a pretty cool sound right now. So I lowered both the sub bass and the square wave one octave down and put this one octave up. Okay, this is the sound I'm gonna go with. Of course, you can just move this and it's gonna become completely new sounds. Or this. Or you can add a new oscillator. But that's not what we're gonna do in this case because this sound is already pretty good. We can uh, add some distortion. Uh, but not too much, just for some extra loudness, depending on what you are going for. Or maybe Dimension Expander for this really short reverb. Okay, now the sound is pretty loud. We can always uh, lower the volume afterwards. Maybe some high frequencies here. And yeah, I mean, pretty much uh, good to go. It's a pretty dirty bass right here. Let's create a new pattern. And uh, let's actually put some effects on it as well. So I know there's this LFO, which kind of creates the effect of uh, side chaining. But let's also side chain it anyway. And for the sake of the tutorial, let's use gross beat, because everyone has it. Okay. Actually, it doesn't really play. So the note here is F3. Yeah, that just makes it a little bit easier to work with when combined with the drums. And maybe let's also put a sound good is here. Why not let it fly with a sound good is here? I know people are hating on sound good is here. But uh, if it sounds better, why not? Okay, so let's see. I have a wave candy here, so I have this dB meter, decibel meter, and it's showing 8 decibels right now for the bass, and kick is uh, at 4, let's just do exactly 4, okay, and the clap, so this is kind of how I do my mixing, I just check the volumes first. So nothing in the song is too loud or too quiet. I think we can do six, maybe. Okay, and let's uh, try some. Let's try some, uh, you know, piano roll. Some pattern, some rhythm with the bass. So it just doesn't just repeat itself. Okay, let's actually enable this. No, no, no. Let's enable this filter, Daft. And also put the LFO on that one. And definitely get rid of the resonance. Okay, is there actually a difference? Whatever. Yeah, there is a difference now. And let's put this on the uh, filter one only. Yeah, now it sounds a little bit better, uh, more 
more of the vocal is heard. Okay, that's nice. So let's do it now. And actually, one more thing, let's go to oscillator and enable this. So, because if you don't enable it, the wave will start from different positions and it will, the sound will change as it plays. Slightly, so it's always good to enable it and we can move this. Also resulting in different sounds. Let's go with this position. And yeah, let's try this. Actually, wait. Let's just repeat this twice. And let's do this. Um. Okay, that sounds good. And let's actually automate the pitch. So we're gonna go we're gonna go to also there again and change this to five up and five down. So that's how much you can change the pitch. And then in FL Studio, you click on massive and this pops up. And just the, do 12, whatever. You can do five, I think. It will, result will be the same. It won't go higher anyway. So now right click on pitch and create automation clip. And maybe I'll just do like this, right click. Let's actually delete this in the club and lower the hi hats a little bit. Okay, that's decent. So there's our wobble bass. You can get the sound, link is in the description, it's for free. Also the FLP file. But you can also buy the sample pack. It has over 30 wobble bass patches for Massive and bunch of uh, drum loops and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely check it out. Link is also in the description. Thank you for watching, goodbye.